Stanley Cup final between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Florida Panthers gets underway this weekend, game one on Saturday. And we are so pleased to be joined this morning on Jen, Gabe, and Chewy by Bill Zito, GM of those Florida Panthers. For those who don't know, Bill, our new friend, our new buddy Bill, is a Milwaukee guy. So, Bill, can you explain to us how you went from being a ball boy for the Milwaukee Brewers to GM of an NHL franchise? That would probably take a, a significant amount of time on Netflix. <laughs> uh, to, to oh, documentary. Oh, he t- um, didn't realize you had sold your rights already, Bill. Good for you. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. The, the, I'm not sure anyone would pay for it. But... Um, <laughs> You know, the truth of the matter is that it's because of people, so many people in Milwaukee um, helped me and, and provided opportunities. When I was growing up playing hockey, there, there was, we had uh, the Winter Club on the north side. We had Shaw on the south side, basically two rinks. Then there was a rink at, at the fairgrounds. I don't know if it's still there. This is before the Oval. Um, and... So many people had helped me, and uh, actually, uh, the fo- uh, former general manager of the Brewers, uh, I was close with his daughters, um, and I got to know him, and he not only provided an opportunity to be a bat boy, but really gave me a lot of guidance, um, a lot of advice, and I, I owe a great debt to him. In fact, when I was in high school, if you ask any of my friends or anyone around me, what, is, what does Bill want to do when he grows up? It must be Harry Dalton. Mm. So, um, and then, you know, the, the coaches, the people at the university school who pushed me and helped me, and the people in the youth hockey, and I was very, very fortunate. I, I'm very lucky. Now, Bill, the most pressing questions our listeners want to know. I know your dad played for the Steelers. But you grew up here in Wisconsin. Where do your loyalties lie? With the Packers or the Steelers? <laughs> well, when we were kids, it was Steelers. Um, and I was born in Pittsburgh. And then, uh, of course, the Packers. With Lynn Dickey and John Brockington, Chester Markle. And they used to play, of course, at County Stadium. Mm-hmm. And then uh, when we got down here, i got to be honest, I, I took a little bit of my Packer loyalty and I'm I'm a little bit behind the fins as well. Oh boy! It's heretical to say that. All right, Chewy. Now you have to decide yeah. if you want to continue the that, interview that, that, with Bill. Bill, or Bill, Bill, <laughs> Bill, Bill. I want to say this. I live in Tampa half the year, and I go to quite a bit of Lightning games. <laughs> so, okay. That's, that's he doesn't feel so bad. Are you trying to trade no. fandom? Is that what's going on here? Bill doesn't feel so bad about back no. in the fins of the Steelers now, does he? <laughs> Bill, what are some of your best Milwaukee memories? What are some of your favorite spots here or things when you think of Milwaukee give you that warm and fuzzy feeling? I'm going to date myself. So, obviously, Summerfest in the summer. Um, that, is the safe house still there? I yes, believe yeah. it is. Safe, safe house yeah. still operational. Yeah, so that was that was really cool. Um, obviously, the lake, and when you move away, I don't know if any of you have, and then come back. That the lake, the lakefront, just the colors, the the just it being there is a, it's a special, it's a special thing. Um, uh, Saz's ribs. Um, you know, it's funny that I go to food, uh, but most of my <laughs> most of my friends and uh, to be um, fair, we do as well. We <laughs> yeah. go to food a lot. Here um, on the show. Uh, I've only been to the new ballpark once. It's gorgeous. So you know, for me, even like the old arena and the Bucks games and scalping tickets in front before the games. Or I was telling my son, you know, we used to go to County Stadium. You, there was a window, and you walk up, and I had ten bucks. What can I get? And the kids don't even believe me. What? Um, yeah, it's just a great place to grow up. When's Wonderful. the last time you were back? Oh, I've been back quite a bit. Um, three months, four months. Oh, okay. So what's the my, ideal my trip when there. you come back? What's the ideal thing that you want to do when you come uh, back? Just to see my dad. That's whatever we do is great. Um, it doesn't. We could play golf. We could just hang out. 
Bill Zito joining Jen, Gabe, and Chewy this morning. Bill is the GM of the Florida Panthers, who will be in the Stanley Cup final starting this weekend. But he is a Milwaukee guy, born and raised here. And I know I uh, was mentioning earlier how you were a bat boy for the Milwaukee Brewers. So did you ever think that baseball, I know you played hockey, but did you ever think that baseball might be where you would end up ultimately? Um, I mean, from a GM standpoint, Uh, I feel like the responsibilities are similar regardless of what sport you end up landing in. I was probably better in baseball for a while. Um, But uh, hockey was my passion. It was everything all day, 24-7 to me. And I, I loved baseball and I enjoyed it. Um, but it was, it was hockey all the time. And it was actually something Mr. Dalton said to me, well then pursue, pursue hockey and scouting is important and relationships are important and how you treat players are important. Um, he, he, he helped me so much. And I have to say that 82 Brewers team, those gentlemen were so gracious and kind, um, thoughtful, uh, to, to a man in that room. Um, just you, they couldn't have made a bunch of young kids feel better about themselves than they did and, and inspire them and treat them with dignity and class. Um, I mean, I remember Ted Simmons helping me with my homework and telling me, you got to get it done. Get your homework done. Um, uh, there's so many stories. Uh, Pete Vukovic was a, a grumpy uh, sort of a curmudgeon guy. And he'd come in the room and scream, this place is filthy, you, you clubbies, you, you guys are the worst. And then when no one's looking, here's 20 bucks. Don't you tell anyone, right? Just, just could make you feel like a million bucks. Um, it, was, it was truly a, a dream come true to go there every single day. Bill, so I saw that you were a sports agent and then made the flip over to management. Was that a tough transition? Because we, we talk about Gouda Koontz, the GM of, of the Packers right now, and he's really taken it in the teeth because of the Aaron Rodgers and everything that's going on. Is, there, is the pressure just day-to-day that tough to perform and stay on top? Well, I can't, I can't speak for that situation, but um, I, I, again, I told you I was lucky before. We've been very fortunate here. Um, We're going to make a bunch of decisions, and the easy ones to make are 49-51. So um, in this business, you do your best. Wait, what does that mean? What is the easy decisions are 49-51? If if, should we go, should we do this? Well, the one side is about 51% if you just go by chance. The other side's 49. So when you're making these decisions, the margins are so small on whether you're right or wrong or what happens once you do it, or you acquire a player um, and the family breaks up the week you get them. Well, who knew, right? Like what happened? He's, he's, he's in the dumps, man. He, he, he's, he's heartbroken. He can't play. Well, yeah, but how was I supposed to, I didn't like, I didn't know that. Right. Um, I'm just made that up, but it's, it's very, very difficult. Um, you know, which guy should I sign? Well, they both had 30 catches. They both run the same. They both, you know, everything is the same. Or one guy is aging out, and I've got a young guy who I think might even be better than the other guy once, once he gets going. There's so many nuances to every decision you make. And then you look back in retrospect, and you could pick it apart if you want. Um, and it's, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. But for me, my dream was to be a general manager. It truly was. And um, I got in the agent business effectively to stay in hockey because I couldn't afford to go be a scout. Um, And so I was an attorney and had the agent business on the side. And I just kept developing it over time. And then I reached the point where I was able to kind of take that chance and, and switch over. What do you think of the hockey fan base here in Milwaukee? Admirals still making a run in the AHL uh, Calder Cup Finals. They're in the Western Conference Finals right now. Uh, They have a game tonight here in Milwaukee. But what do you remember about the Milwaukee fan base in terms of hockey? Because I feel it gets gets overshadowed by the Packers and the Bucks and the Brewers. The fan base is unbelievable. I don't know. They probably didn't tell you I was also a stick boy for the Admirals. (laughs) A guy named named Phil Whitliff had given me the chance. 
And back then there was one trainer who did it. The trainer, the equipment guy, the bus driver was one guy. So um, we would come down and we would, I'd get a couple guys to help and we'd work and, sh- and help with the skates and the equipment and cleaning and towels and laundry. And then we could skate in the, in the arena after the game was over. It was, it was awesome. But the fans are so loyal, um, so gracious, so kind. Even, even if I go to the games, you still, I see now some of the fans who were there, you know, back in the early 80s. Um, I, I, I think it was this preseason. There was a pre, was it Minnesota, Chicago? It was sold out. Oh, when they had the game yes. yeah. here in yeah. Milwaukee. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Cause I remember, I remember saying, Oh, I think I'm going to go to that game. And someone said, Oh, you must have press passes. Like, well, yeah, but why'd you, why'd you ask me that? It sold out. Oh, that's all. Awesome. That's fantastic. Bill, favorite hockey movie? Slapshot, Miracle. Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks. <laughs> uh, all three. All three. Uh, probably. Probably Slapshot. Yeah, great movie. Because yeah. I'm old enough to have lived through Miracle. And, yeah. and remember, it was, it was in the afternoon. And I was at my buddy Dave Riley's house. And his brother was there. And he was calling us. His older brother, Paul. And then that night we watched it on TV. General Manager of the Florida Panthers, Bill Zito, joining Jen, Gabe, and Chewy right now. We are so excited for you and your team. We love supporting everything Milwaukee. Uh, Dumpy in West Bend, that's one of our loyal listeners, weighing in, asking if you and Craig Council crossed paths at all when you were bat boy with the Brewers, and Craig was also doing the same gig. He was a pain in the ass. Yes! Yes! (laughs) <laughs> I love it. Seriously? So Mr. Council, Mr. Council would bring the boys, and Craig was there with Sal Bando's uh, son, Sonny, and I think Sonny and Sal. Yeah. And then Larry, Larry Heisel had boys. But it was awesome. There was, there was, there was like no security. There was one security guy, Uncle Wally, who sat by the front door and slept. <laughs> and then the, the guys would bring the kids in, and they would help. And, then, and Craig Council also played with my brother, Chris, when we were growing up. Uh, so he was, he was a few years behind me. Um, I have not seen him since I got down here. Um, I don't know if he still interacts in South Florida and, um, but, uh, yeah, that was the, we were all, we were just like, you know, I was 16. He must've been 12 or 10. I, but it was a blast. I mean, he still looks like he's 12 or 10, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, he's he's had a fabulous career. Bill, we so appreciate you taking the time out of your morning to hang out with us a little bit here on Jen, Gabe, and Chewy. Have a great run. We will certainly be pulling for you, and we'll talk to you again Wait, soon. Wait, is is? What? I mean, it, I'm just, just you know just throwing it out there. If good things do off. happen, I uh, don't even okay, ask. Right. Right. If, hey, if you can't tell from this discussion we've had. Yeah, that's fair. Very fair. There Very fair. Yeah. Very fair. <laughs> Very fair, Bill. Read between Thanks, the Bill. lines, Gabe. For <laughs> yeah. goodness a- sake, read between the lines. Bill Zito <laughs> hanging out with us here. Day. Thank Thanks, you, Bill. Bill. We appreciate right. you. What a good Thanks, guy. Thanks, guys. Oh, so easy to root for. And we love, obviously, rooting for folks with Milwaukee ties. We will certainly be pulling for the Florida Panthers this week as Bill Zito, the GM of the squad, leads them in the Stanley Cup final game. Ridge Top Exteriors provides best quality roof siding, windows and doors, expertly installed all at an affordable price. That's right. There is a company out there. If you need work done on the exterior of your house, and Ridgetop Exteriors the pre- provides the best quality roof, siding, windows, doors, expertly installed, all at an affordable price. But maybe you're somebody who has had to deal with some storm damage this spring. I know there are homeowners in Greendale, Bayview, Jackson, Cedarburg, Grafton, and Hartford that have reached out to Ridgetop Exteriors and have experienced their expertise. Again, They provide the best quality roof, siding, windows, doors, expertly installed at an affordable price, and you can get low and no interest financing available with Ridgetop Exteriors. But that's not all, because Ridgetop Exteriors considers customer service their number one goal. So there's a great company out there that can do great work at an affordable price and considers customer service their number one goal. So get that free estimate for your next project by logging out of their website at RidgetopExteriors.com. Full show podcasts, interviews, and special content is available right now at WisconsinOnDemand.com. This is Jen, Gabe, and Chew.